Get 5% off on all your orders on cardtrader.com using my code MATCASTER. Link below in the description. Perfect. Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers and today is October 15th, 2024 and before we jump into things here as per usual I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as a Card Trader discount code and you can get 5% off your first order if you use my code down below in the description. With that being said, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis so thank you all very much. Now, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off today with Cabal Coffers from Modern Horizons 2. This land is down 10.17% from $24 to $21.55 for its market price and its average price is $24. Magus of the Moon from the Secret Layer series, down 10.64% from $11.28 to $10.08 for its market price, and its average price is $9.93. Coma Cosmos Serpent from the Secret Layer series, down 11.07% from $21.96 to $19.53 for its market price, and its average price is $18. Delighted Halfling from The Lord of the Rings. This card is down 11.53% from $11.19 to $9.90 for its market price, and its average price is $12. Slimer's Feast, which is also Windfall from the Ghostbusters Secret Layer series, is down 11.87% from $27.46 to $24.20 for its market price, and its average price is $18.13. Illustrious Wanderglyph, and this is the extended art copy from Commander of the Lost Caverns of Ixlon. This artifact creature is down 13.54% from $7.46 to $6.45 for its market price, and its average price is $8.59. Pyretic Ritual from Magic 2011. This card is down 14.45% from $7.13 to $6.10 for its market price, and its average price is $7. Hushwood Verge, and this is the borderless version of this land from Duskmorn House of Horror. It's down 19.77% from $6.07 to $4.87 for its market price, and its average price is $6. Harbinger of the Seas from Modern Horizons 3. This merfolk wizard is down 26.37% from $6.94 to $5.11 for its market price, and its average price is $6.28. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Abhorrent Oculus, and this is the borderless copy from Duskborn House of Horror. It's up 7.21% from $26.36 to $28.26 for its market price, and its average price is $31.75. The pre-release copy is sitting at $42 for its average price, the promo pack copy is sitting at $23.42 for its market price, and its average price is $32. And the regular copy is sitting at $29.37 for its market price, and its average price is $32. This card is being played right now in the modern format in decks like Demir Murktide, Goryeo's Vengeance, and even in the Pioneer format in 5-color Enigmatic Incarnation decks, Esper Greeks Fang, and even 4-color Midrange. But it's also been played in the standard format Zori's Tempo and the commander format in commanders like Simone, Mystery Unraveler, and Kadena Slinking Sorcerer. Next winner here is Greater Oromancy, and this is the anime borderless copy from the Wild of Eldraine Enchanting Tales slot. It's up 7.50% from $15.87 to $17.06 for its market price, and its average price is $16. Next up is Maha, it's Feather Knight, and this is the borderless copy from Bloomborough. It's up 9.67% from $13.65 to $14.97 for its market price, and its average price is $14.77. 
The promo pack copy sitting at $12.64 for its market price, and its average price is exactly the same. The regular copy sitting at $10.05 for its market price, and its average price is $10.79. This card is seeing play in the Commander format and Commanders like Toxwell the Corrosive, the Infamous Cruel Claw, and also Valgvoth Hero of Souls from Duskmorn. Before we get to the market movers, I want to let you guys know about the sponsor for today's video, Card Castle. Scan, organize, and track the value of your collection with Card Castle. Scanning cards is fast and fun with their app, and organizing your collection is easy with their web platform. They even created a scanning robot too. Hello, human. Try it for free. Click the link in the description to sign up and receive a free month of full access. Next winner here is Teleportation Circle from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. This enchantment is up 14.04% from $7.55 to $8.61 for its market price, and its average price is $7.70. The pre-release copy is sitting at $8.46 for its market price, and its average price is $8.90. The promo pack copy is sitting at $7.13 for its market price, and its average price is $7.76. The AFR ampersand promo copy is sitting at $34.62 for its market price, and its average price is $34.94. The extended art copy is sitting at $7.71 for its market price, and its average price is $7.76. This card is being played right now in the Commander format, in newer commanders like the Jolly Balloon Man, Marina Renvrel, and also Nico Light of Hope, all of which are from Duskmorn. Next up on the winners, this is Dawn's Truce from Bloomborough. This rare instant is at 15% today from $6.94 to $7.98 for its market price, and its average price is $6.43. The promo pack copy is sitting at $5.53 for its market price, and its average price is $7.48. The showcase copy is sitting at $5.76 for its market price, and its average price is $5.96. This card is being played as well in some newer commanders like the Jolly Balloon Man, and also Arabella, a bandit doll from Duskmorn. Next winner here is Temporary Lockdown from Dominaria United. This rare enchantment is up 15.43% from $7 to $8.08 .08 for its market price, and its average price is $7.87. The pre-release copy is sitting at $5.18 for its market price, and its average price is $15.10. The extended art copy is sitting at $10.42 for its market price, and its average price is $9.97. This card is being played right now in the modern format in Jeskai Control decks, in the Pioneer format in decks like Azorius Control, Hidden Strings, and Abzan Greasefang, and it's even being played in the standard format in Mono White Token Control and Azorius Tempo decks. Next winner on our list is the Lord of Pain, and this is the Commander Duskmorn House of Horror Mythic. It's up 24.68% from $5.39 to $6.72 for its market price, and its average price is $5. And you can find this card in the Duskmorn Commander Precon, Endless Punishment. This card is being played as well in other commanders like Winter, Misanthropic Guide, and Ezio Auditori de Firenze from Assassin's Creed. And our final winner on our list today is Enduring Innocence from Duskmorn House of Horror. And this card keeps climbing, it's up 28.35% today from $7.16 to $9.19 for its market price, and its average price is $9.79. The pre-release copy is sitting at $20 for its average price, the promo pack copy is sitting at $2.81 for its market price, and its average price is $5. The extended art copy is sitting at $8.62 for its market price, and its average price is $12.59. The Japan Showcase copy is sitting at $24.66, for its average price. And the Japan Showcase Fractured Foil copy is sitting at $121.03 for its market price, and its average price is $130. This card is being played in some competitive formats, like Pioneer, Index like Celestia Company, and Azorius Flash. It's being played as well in the standard format in Mono White Token Control, and Azorius Enchantments decks. But of course, it's also being played in the most popular format, Commander, in commanders like Arabella, Abandoned Doll, and of course, the Jolly Balloon Man. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Sylvan Primordial from Gatecrash. This foil is up 27.07% from $4 to $5.07 for its foil market price, and its average price is $28.50. 
Shadowborn Apostle from Magic 2014. This foils up 29.02% from $5.10 to $6.58 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5. Moriak Rigger from Fifth Dawn. This foils up 30.68% from $3.65 to $4.77 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.15. Countryside Crusher from Modern Masters. This foils up 36.88% from $5.83 to $7.98 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.10. Enduring Innocence again on the list from Duskmorn House of Horror. This regular foil is up 37.20% from $6.21 to $8.52 for its foil market price, and its average price is $10.71. Blood Letter of Aklazots, and this is the Borderless Foil from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Up 40.33% from $24.10 to $33.82 for its foil market price, and its average price is $67. Sun Titan from Magic 2011. This foil is up 48.10% from $8.15 to $12.07 for its foil market price, and its average price is $9.89. Oriok Champion from Fifth Dawn. This foil is up 48.18% from $37.11 to $55 for its foil market price, and its average price is $41.44. Artist Talent from Bloomboro. This foil is up 54.98% from $2.31 to $3.58 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.85. And our final foil winner of the day's Unholy Annex Ritual Chamber, and this is the Borderless Foil from Duskmorn House of Horror. It's up 59.33% from $2.68 to $4.27 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.29. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below? so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm, so that way my channel can continue to grow on YouTube. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards you most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own. That showed up on the list, I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and until then, Please enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.